Oh shit, I forgot to make the egg. Shh, don't say anything. And that was my one job. One job. That's why we can't have nice things. All right, you guys, so for dinner tonight, we are making one of our favorite meals, actually. It's so easy. Basically, like a healthy take on the P.F. Chang's chicken lettuce wraps, Asian lettuce wraps. You guys know what I'm talking about if you've been to P.F. Chang's before. Let me show you. On the stove, I just have some diced up onion and garlic going just to heat up a little bit. I sprayed it with some coconut oil spray. We're going to add in some 93.7 ground turkey, and then I'm seasoning it with some ground ginger, some onion powder, black pepper, soy sauce, a little rice wine vinegar, some garlic powder, sriracha. I add the sesame oil in at the end so that it doesn't get cooked down as much and you can actually taste it. Since it is a, a fat source, I don't want to add a ton of this. But if you add it towards the end, it stays, the flavor stays a little more in it. And then we're also gonna do a drizzle of some almond butter to add some healthy fats as well. So that's where we're at, I'm just browning this up. Once they get translucent, you're just gonna add in your turkey. You can also do ground chicken as well. We just have ground turkey. And then over here, we just have like a head of iceberg lettuce and Matt just took some of the leaves off for the wrap parts. And then we also, for garnishing the top of it, we have some jalepinos, <laughs> some carrots diced up, green onion, and then some fresh lime. And then we're also gonna top it off with a little everything, but the bagel seasoning, we need more of this. And that, oh, Matt also, we're gonna add an egg in it as well. We just added some leftover, these like spicy chilies, woo, that we had from Chinese takeout last night. We, well, we went to a Chinese restaurant and these are like the Szechuan really spicy peppers. So obviously you don't need to add these. We just had them in the fridge left over. So we're not gonna waste them. But this recipe is amazing without it as well. This is the first time I've ever added them. But let me show you when I season it. Onion powder going in. Like, like I said, I just shake a little. I don't know. Garlic. Some ground ginger. Black pepper. And I always hold off on adding salt until I add in the soy sauce and the sriracha because those have salt in them. So I always just add those and then taste and then I'll, if I think it needs a little more salt, then I'll add it from there. But you never want to over salt, you can't take it away. Just salt a little as you go and taste. I'm gonna add a few dashes of soy sauce. This is a low sodium soy sauce. Usually we get the coconut aminos from Trader Joe's, but I have not had time to go to Trader Joe's and it's really sad I don't wanna talk about it, okay? I just don't wanna talk about it. You always wanna add an acid to your meals. Some rice wine vinegar. It sounds weird, but it gives it a really nice flavor. And vinegar is a great way to season and give a lot of flavor without adding extra calories or like fat or anything. That's why we love spices in this house. Add in some sriracha. Oh, lovely. We need more of this because we're obsessed. And we've also made it without adding, oh, why did I just put that <laughs> We also have made it where we don't add any nut butter at all, but we just have a little bit of this left, so I figured might as well, a little peanut sauce. So I'm gonna tear this off the heat and then I'll add the oil and the peanut butter. Again, both fat sources, so you don't need to add both. We're not adding a lot at all. It's more of like an essence, you know what I'm saying? Turn it off the heat, we wrap. I'm going to add I don't know what the spork was used for, but I'm gonna add just like probably that much peanut butter or almond butter in this case. Cook that down. You really don't need a lot. 
Again, this is off the heat because you don't want to overcook your turkey and then it gets too tough. Shake up your sesame oil. I'm just going to do a drizzle over the top. And this is at the end. Also, it's just going to really help crisp up that turkey. Again, we're off the heat, but obviously it's still hot. So it adds a great layer of flavor. If you had fish sauce, you should add fish sauce. That's like the salt seasoning in a lot of Asian cuisine, this fish sauce. It's really funky, but it adds a really nice flavor in small amounts. Then you gotta taste it, cause duh. Oh yeah. See, like I don't even think it needs any extra salt, cause we use that low sodium soy sauce and then sriracha, which have salt in it, and the peanut butter. And then we're gonna top it with everything but the bagel seasoning, and that has salt in it as well. So, always remember, if you're topping with certain things, or if you're gonna add like sriracha at the end as a topping, those all have salt in them. So maybe you wanna keep your meat a little plainer, because it can easily go over. Okay. My work here is done. Let's go. Let's go make some lettuce wraps. Oof, she a housewife? Wipe me up. Matt. So like I said, Matt was an angel. Peeled off some lettuce from iceberg lettuce and then did these garnishes. So I'm literally just gonna take a spoonful and put them in each lettuce wrap. It's not rocket science. Super simple, quick, high protein, low carb, satisfying meal. And honestly, you can add like whatever you have in your fridge that you think would be good. I don't know why I needed to say that because obviously you guys know that. You're smart. That's why I like you. Oh shit, I forgot to make the egg. Matt likes to have an egg in his. I don't feel like I need an egg in mine, but he just went down to go get some mail. And that was my one job. One job. That's why we can't have nice things. Let me just maybe distract him by putting his meal together. And maybe he won't even remember that there was supposed to be an egg in here. What egg? I mean, obviously he won't actually care if I tell him. I don't want people to think he's like crazy. <laughs> Shit, here it goes. Hey. Is that for me? Huh? The green bag? No. Oh, that's all for you? Yeah. Hmm. You hungry? Yeah. All right. This one's a big boy. So that's what they look like. And then you just top it with your toppings. We got some baby carrots that, did you just cut these like really small? Mm -hmm. Good job. Matt's knife skills are amazing and that's why he chops everything for me because I'm too lazy to chop things, finally. Loki, I just can't do it. All right, then we have thinly sliced jalapeno going down. I like things spicy. And then some fresh lime juice. Another great way to season your food up without adding extra calories or salt. And then, the star of the show. This is why you don't add too much salt when you're cooking the meat because you are gonna top it with everything but the bagel seasoning. This just has like the sesame seeds. Here's the final product. Super easy, delicious, full of veg, Protein, we love that, and we love that. All right, I'm gonna go eat now, bye. Okay guys, so for dinner tonight, we are making Thai meatballs with zoodles. So zoodles are just spiralized zucchini. We have like a little zoodler, <laughs> a zoodler, a zoodler. Basically gives you carpal tunnel prematurely. We have two zucchinis, one squash, we're gonna zoodle them both. Then we just have these frozen turkey meatballs that are fully cooked from Trader Joe's and I'm just thawing them out right now. And then we're gonna simmer them in this marsala sauce. You've seen this before on our channel with the chicken thighs. We're gonna simmer it in some marsala sauce and some coconut milk. So it's gonna be Thai 
turkey meatballs noodles high protein delicious full of flavor super easy and yeah it's very self-explanatory so i don't even really know if i need to really show how i'm doing it y'all have zoodled before right all the cool kids are doing it. Okay, so we did the three or the two zucchinis and the one squash. It looks like a lot, but it cooks down a ton. And this is just the zoodler. My wrist is currently like so sore already. And I'm just putting some of these frozen meatballs in the microwave to finish thawing or to frost. That's the <laughs> to finish, um, whatever. To not be frozen. Wow, they're already fully cooked, so it's fine. You can also make. Meatballs from scratch if you want to. This is what we have and it's super easy. Herman doesn't like bubble wrap. We have bubble wrap right now. He's uh, like uh, hiding behind me. Okay, so what was the option? Free water, free wet. So I have the zoodles going over like medium heat right now. I just sprayed the bottom with some cooking spray. And then over here I just have the turkey meatballs simmering and the simmer sauce and there is a scoop of coconut milk in there too with some of the liquid so i'll just cover that let that go again these are already cooked all the way so make sure if you have raw meatballs that you cook them prior and then simmer them in this sauce okay or you can like par cook them like 75 percent of the way and then finish cooking them in the simmer sauce but just make sure they are cooked all the way through before you consume them we don't want to get anyone sick here okay everyone knows this or not but when you finish off like a sauce, like a pasta sauce or something, and you have all that leftover sauce on the side, you don't want to waste it. Just put a little splash of water, like maybe a tablespoon or two, into the jar and then put the cap on and shake it up and then add it to whatever sauce you're doing. For this one, I just used the coconut milk. I poured a little bit in here, shook it up, so it got all the sauce off from the sides. And you can see we're simmering. The bubbles are... Meatballs are cooking again, and they're just heating through. And the zoodles are getting going, so. Yum! I like to cook my zoodles in a dry, or in a separate pan, so they don't get too soggy. I like to get a little crispy. Zoodles naturally are just full of water, like zucchinis are very high in water content, so it will be a little soggy. You can press out your, your noodles with paper towels if you want to, but I just, I really don't care enough to do that, just uh, being transparent. So we're just gonna serve up, we'll, we'll combine them at the end just to mix them, make sure all the zoodles are covered, but I like to cook these separately from that so they don't get mushy. Okay. Turn off the heat for the zoodles. I like them so a little crunchy, I don't cook them all the way through until they're soggy, and then I just poured the Marsala mixture with the meatballs in and I'm just combining this is hard to do with one hand but That's basically it you guys. I'm just gonna plate them up top with some parsley. You could do like green onions as well and That is a quick and simple healthy dinner. Okay. I need both my hands for this. I can't do it Okay, so here's the final product. I probably should have put it in a bowl, but whatever we have the meatballs and the zoodles, and I just ripped up some parsley on top because I don't want to cut any. And that is the final meal. Looks really good. Okay, so for dinner tonight, we are making steak salad. So, <laughs> here are the ingredients. We have flank steak that we're just um, putting salt and pepper on and then searing it off. It cooks really quickly, but we're gonna do it over some arugula and spinach herb mix. And then we have for toppings a little more walnuts left over, some baby tomatoes, an avocado, some onion, this green goddess salad dressing. But if you don't have this, last time we made this, it was really good. I just used olive oil, balsamic vinegar, and Dijon mustard and salt and pepper. That was super easy. We're also adding some Kalamata olives because we have them. And then the star of the show is a really good blue cheese. This one's from Boar's Head. It's really delicious. So. I will show you what it looks like when it's done. Here is the final look, Herm. What do you think? He wants some, but he can have some. And it's delicious, you guys. You have to try this. It's so good, so easy. Low carb, Herman's hacking up a lung, but we love him for it still. On the balcony eating. It's a great staple, you guys. Try it out. Hey guys, so I figured I'd show you what we are making for dinner tonight. It's super quick, super easy. 
and it's one of our staples. We have this chickpea pasta. We always keep a bunch of these on hand. I like this one, and then I also like the one from Trader Joe's. This is the rotini kind. So I boiled that up in some salt water. And then in this pan, what we always do to bulk up our pasta dishes is we put a ton of vegetables in it. So we just use whatever vegetables we have left in our fridge because we have to go shopping soon. So this meal is a great kind of clear the fridge out with all the vegetables <laughs> meal. So it's just bell peppers, red and green, and some mushrooms. And then I just put some seasonings on it like uh, Italian seasoning, onion powder, garlic powder, cayenne, the whole gist there. We're just gonna use some jarred tomato sauce from Trader Joe's. And then I'm also, we like our spicy, so I'm just gonna put some bomba sauce in it as well. And I'm making this kind of like a chicken parm. So we have these Boca patties, these spicy chickenless vegan patties in our freezer. We actually like to eat these a lot as like McChickens. If you guys know, then you know. We'll just take like some bread thins, put one of these in the microwave <laughs> for really lazy. Right now I have them in the air fryer because I'm like kind of trying a little bit. But then just some, a little bit of like vegan mayo or some avocado mayo and some shredded lettuce and it literally tastes exactly like a McChicken. We have these on hand. So I have two of them cooking in the air fryer right now and I'm just gonna top them with a little sauce and then some mozzarella cheese to melt and then we're gonna top it on the pasta. So I'm gonna drain this right now and then I'm gonna, to make the sauce a little creamier, I'm gonna put like a scoop of some non-fat Greek yogurt in it. Usually people use heavy cream. We're just gonna use non-fat Greek yogurt, mix it in with the pasta sauce, and it is gonna be delicious. All right, so I added about half of the jar of the tomato sauce and about probably like a fourth a cup of Greek yogurt. So you can see it's very creamy. I also kept a little of the pasta water in because we all know that trick. It makes the sauce super creamy. So everything's in here, the vegetables, the tomato sauce, and the chobani. I'm gonna put a little tablespoon of the spicy sauce in there. So the Boca vegan chicken patties are completely cooked through, or just kind of crispy now. I put them on the frozen setting. I think it's 350 degrees for 10 minutes. And I flipped halfway through. And I just topped it with a little bit of more tomato sauce or marinara sauce, and then some mozzarella cheese. I'm gonna put them back in just to melt and get a little crispy. Just maybe like two minutes, three minutes, I'll check on that. The vegetables, as you can see, really bulk up the pasta. And then this, this uh, pasta, if you're not familiar with chickpea pasta, for one serving, which is two ounces, which is like nothing, there's 13 grams of protein. So this is a great way to get extra protein in, especially if you're a vegan. And then one of these patties, let's see, I don't even know. One of these patties has 11 grams of protein. So am I saying this is like the cleanest meal of all time? Obviously no. But does it taste good? It tastes damn good, okay? So here is the final meal. You have the pasta topped with the chicken parm. And like I said before, Matt always keeps just a chopped up thing of our herbs. So it's just some parsley. Just gonna top it off with and bada bing bada boom, you know? Dinner tonight is just one bag of this rice cauliflower stir fry. We had a little bit of this cruciferous crunch left, so we just threw both those in here. And we also added some just chopped broccoli to bulk it up. And then we're going to scramble two eggs in this pan and add those in as well. So good, so colorful, so many. Veggies, this is a great way to get rid of veggies that are going off in your fridge. If you buy those salad packs that have a lot of the cabbage and stuff, those are great to throw in the stir fries. Just a little tip. Here's the final product. So again, it's the cauliflower rice mixed with extra broccoli that we had and then some of that cabbage slaw. And then from one of those crunch kit salad kits, I just have some leftover peanuts. And then it also had some rice noodles, so add those on top as well. And then we put some coconut aminos and sriracha in while we were cooking the entire mixture, but oh, it looks so good. Yum. All right, so for today's dinner, I kind of started already on it and then I realized I should really record it because it's gonna be delicious. We are eating euros, like homemade euros at home. <laughs> These are just from Trader Joe's, they are Fully cooked, heat and serve gyro slices. This is what they look like. It's basically just like gyro bacon. <laughs> just heat them up on the pan. 
So what we are going to do, we're going to heat up a few slices of those. I made like a homemade tzatziki sauce. All I did was put probably like a, f a third of a cup of non-fat Greek yogurt, um, a half of a lemon juice squeezed in. I just did some extra dill in here. And you mix in and it makes it just taste delicious. And I also chopped up a little bit of cucumber and put that in there as well. This is the final product of the tzatziki sauce. It's so delicious. I was eating literally out of half a watermelon today. So tzatziki sauce is done. We're gonna use these carb balance, these low carb tortillas for our pita. Here there are, here are the macros for them. Really high in fiber, very filling. Heat up some of this, and then we have just some hummus, some kalamata olive, some feta cheese, some parsley. And these mushrooms are going off, so I'm going to quickly saute them with some onion to add those as well. And that is, we also we might add some tomato as well. I'm not sure. I have to look at if we, our tomatoes are good or not. But I know this is a mess, but I wanted to quickly show you. This is going to be a delicious meal if you crave euros like I do. All right, let's get it. The euro meat's just heating up. I'm just going to fry them as if it was bacon. I don't even have to put spray or anything down because they are higher in fat. We're just doing two pieces each. And now I'm gonna chop up some of these mushrooms. I also have some artichoke hearts left over from our Greek salads that we use. And some onion, I'm gonna saute this to top them with. So we have the mushrooms, a little bit of onion, and just artichoke hearts that were in water. Sauteing in the same pan that I just pulled the gyro meat off of. Here's the finished gyro meat, it looks really burnt. But I like things really crispy, so you don't have to cook it this far long if you want it, but I prefer everything really crispy and so these are just cooking and then also over here I have just some toppings that we can put on some kalamata olives feta cheese I like raw onions I know I cut like a Neanderthal but it's fine uh, tzatziki sauce some garlic hummus and then we're gonna chop up some parsley as well to top it off and that is a dinner okay so I want to show you how we're gonna what? how we're gonna put together one of these euros so I start off with a little little tzatziki sauce on the bottom just kind of spread it out. This one's mine, I like a lot of tzatziki sauce. Okay, I'm gonna do two little Euro slices. And then I'm gonna get my, these are the sauteed veggies that we did. Let's put a big scoop of those. All right. Okay. And then, it's topping time. This is the fun part. I like raw onions, as you guys know. Matt doesn't, so I don't have to save any of these for him. I know I did cooked onions, but I also just like extra raw onion as well. I'm gonna do some cucumber slices, some kalamata olives. We have some baby tomatoes left over, so I throw in those in as well. And then I'm just gonna crumble up some feta on top. And then I'll do a scoop of we just have garlic hummus just to top it off. And that is going to be bacon. Thank you. That is the meal for tonight. It's like a little low carb, veggie bowl, delicious high five. Euro. It's so good, you guys. Let's try it.